As you have hopefully seen, Artmatic can create an astounding range of images, motion graphics, and effects. At Artmatic's core is the structure tree, which is this interconnected group of tiles. Many different structure tree arrangements are possible. The number is practically infinite, and each particular arrangement is capable of an astounding range of images because each tile has many possible functions and settings that can be assigned to it. Understanding the structure tree and how to manipulate it is the key to understanding and controlling Artmatic. We'll demystify the structure tree and its tiles in the coming lessons. What is the structure tree? The structure tree is essentially a program that generates an image. The program's building blocks are the structure tree's tiles. The operations flow down. The tile at the top of the tree receives a blank canvas from the global input matrix. Each tile performs an operation such as rotation or distortion or drawing a pattern and passes the result to the tile or tiles that are connected to it. The process continues until each tile has performed its operation. The tile at the bottom of the tree sends its output to the canvas for drawing. The number of outlets of the bottom tile determines how the image is drawn. If the tile has one outlet, the image is drawn using the colors of the gradient, which is this palette right here. If the tile has three or four outlets, the tree is drawn directly with the outlets representing red, green, and blue, which is also called RGB color. The color mapping is further influenced by the color shader choice and the shading options. These are covered in detail in the documentation and will be covered in their own lesson.